Scientists now agree our warming climate will lead to bigger, more intense and even more destructive wildfires. But what if we could predict how a fire will impact a community, even down to the individual buildings that would burn? Yeah, that would be huge, right? Yeah. And so helpful. And as Keely Charmers is showing us, that kind of prediction is about to become mainstream. And it's thanks to engineers at Colorado State University. When the Marshall Fire burned through Boulder County, no one could have predicted the damage. At least, not then. We were getting really good match. Now, uh, CSU engineering be, professor Hussein Mahmoud says he has a model that yeah. can predict with uncanny accuracy how a wildfire could impact a community down to which buildings would burn. The model analyzes things like structure locations, building materials, and vegetation. It considers these factors and creates the most likely path the fire would take. Let's say there's an area where people camp or where there are old power lines that could fall. If I know that ignition is likely to happen, I go to the model and I put the ignition and it tells me how the fire is going to spread in the community. And, and that allows me to go back and say, how can I stop it? For example, this is the map of the Marshall Fire burn area and all the structures destroyed. Look at the correlation between what we calculated and what happened in reality. When Mahmoud ran his model using pre-fire data, this was the result. The model predicted the wildfire damage with 72 percent accuracy. Which is incredibly exciting. This ability to look into the future in a way allows communities to develop better fire mitigation plans. And the model suggests you don't have to mitigate all the buildings, just those in strategic locations. Buildings and communities represent a network of some sort. And damage to one building will impact how the entire network is damaged. That requires a different way of thinking as a community instead of individuals. If we determine as a community that we have uh, there is a specific number of homes that we need to mitigate. We have to agree as a community that everybody is going to pay to mitigate these homes. Mitigating a few to protect us all. In Fort Collins, Keeley Chalmers, 9 News. Oh boy, that would be wonderful, right? Every tool becomes so important, especially with the way we are developing the yeah. state and the metro area. We are having bigger and bigger neighborhoods get closer and closer to that urban yes. wildlife interface or wildland interface. And so you have more and more houses in the line of potential damage. And so the more we understand, the better off yeah, we're absolutely. going to be. Mahmoud also found that through his modeling that in general, building materials are very effective in mitigating wildfire damage. There's so much conversation about landscaping it's true. as well. And just as an entire community, how do you help each other? It's a natural this? question that homeowners have whenever they're looking at yeah. what they're going to buy. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely.